short in the story itself. So you see the process of translation. Men go through pain, sweat, and tears to make sure the future generations have the accurate account to read. That's right. Right. Also, y'all write down Isaiah 34 and 16. That's right. It says, Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. None shall want her made for my mouth command. My spirit gathered the book together. You either believe that or you didn't go faith. You either believe some, some, some Caucasian sodomite wrote the Bible, or you're going to be like, you know what? That's the power of Almighty God you deserve. It. That's right. One or the other. One or the other. So y'all mark that down if that's somebody come to you about translation. 2 Maccabees 2, 23 through 32. Yes, sir. You read it out of the Bible, Bible and, Dictionary. Yep, and even read that about the Bible Dictionary. That was written by a white man. <laughs> and then I said, <laughs> then I said 34. Why didn't he take his destruction out? Isaiah 34 right. and 16 is where Showing you what it is. The Lord is the one that inspires and makes it happen. That's right. He controls it all. Now, somebody else had a hand up. Somebody had something. Go ahead, bro. So is it the same thing the uh, second is 15 22? It is exactly what it is. Go ahead and read. Cause to be rich and faithful. They are faithful and they are true. Mm. Well, well, I'm you know that. That's a good witness, bro. Yeah. I understand too, the Bible was translated from the Masoretic text. Mm. And when you look that up, that'll say from the ancient Israelites mm. or the scribes. So that's what King James, when they ask, like, what's out there? Gregorian, Masoretic. What you want to talk about the ancient Israelites? Masoretic, give me that one. I need that one. We translated from that. Exactly. So, and he said translation, not tamper. Right. So it's right. your job to prove how a word has been uh, translated to the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You know, but we ain't seen that yet of nobody to say King James did this. Because he showed his translation. A man should not lay with a, 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 a man like he does with womankind. He showed and changed that. He didn't change Romans 1.20. He didn't change 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. He didn't change none of what would get him tossed into the lake of fire. Right. So that's who we need to be really looking at. Somebody that puts his own death in there as weight. Because he ain't got nothing to hide. We need to be worried about the ones who say I'm saved and filled with something right. and still eating abomination or doing abomination. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we need to be watching out for. Because that's the deception. Right. You even uh, have uh, the rumor about uh, King James 25 years after he died, a guy named, uh, you ever get a chance? Anthony Weldon. Yeah, Sir Anthony Weldon. Uh, that's the guy that started the rumor about King James. So these brothers and sisters have been saying that King James was a homosexual. Just simply ask them, who was Sir Anthony Weldon? To tell you who he is, he's going to tell you the history of the rumor about that he started on King James. After the man died, man, he was dead a quarter century. Right. Then you start leveling, but see, he was mad because he got kicked him out of his court. Of court. Yeah. He kicked him out of his court like Barack Obama uh, kicking what's the boy named Eric Holder right. out or something. And then you hold him and that stain for him, and then you wait till he died, and then the heir to his throne gets beheaded. And then you start leveling certain things against him. Right. But hey, y'all would not read that out here real quick. Page 117. 117. I yeah. typed the title of the book. Like, check us out. People can talk all day. Only thing we got to prove that he wasn't no homosexual or nothing is his own words. Now this is uh, it's called the Basilicon Duron. Got that proof. It's right. Right. It's up from the wisdom call. All right. It says, but at the severe justice of hey, Haman, page what? 117. But as the as this severe justice of yours upon all offenses would be put for a time, as I have already said, so are there are some horrible crimes that you are bound in conscience. Never to forgive. He's talking to his son. He was supposed to be the heir to the strong. He was like, look, order your furs like this. Pick your wife like this. He's like, how do you pick a wife? He said, the scriptures is the best way to find your wife. <laughs> this is what this man say. Don't sound like no homosexual. Mm. See that? He's like, look, if you want a wife, you better go into the scriptures. Hey, this is in 1599 before he even had the Bible translated before. Right. Showing you the Bible been around, man. Right. He didn't offer nothing. He right. just translated. This book was written before the 1600s. Right. Go ahead, bro. So it says, 
there are some horrible crimes that you are bound and conscious never to forgive, mm. such as witchcraft, mm. willful murder, mm. incest, mm. especially within the degrees of constant unity. Mm. Sodomy. Who? Sodomy. Sodomy is what you know is homosexuality. Right. You tell the son, there are crimes you ain't never supposed to forgive. Make sure you not operate under these spirits right here. One of them is sodomy. Witchcraft, willful murder, incest. That sounds like the law of God. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Poison. Mm. False coin. False coin of very false witness. Right. Which is commandment number nine, thou shalt not bear false witness. So if you live in the charge of him being a tamperer or homosexual, and this is court, if you live in the charge, it's court. Right? What evidence do we put in the file to prove he ain't none of that? Mm. His own words. Right. And according to his own words, he was a follower of Christ. Right. And was at war with the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. And they was trying to constantly kill him. You ever seen the movie V for Vendetta? Yeah. yeah. Gunpowder plot, guy fought. Yeah. King James was supposed to give a speech at Parliament the next day. They end up catching dude and end up, you know, hanging him, beheading him and all that. Right. And he survived, he survived like five assassination attempts. Got a holiday over there for that. They celebrate that. Right. Yeah, yeah. That was about King James. That was about King James. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. So, at the worst, he would be what we would call a reverse hypocrite. Uh -huh. Because if he's doing that and then he, he's saying, don't do, he's telling you, don't do the sins that I'm doing, if that's the case. If that's the case. He's yeah. not like who the man was with a 5,000 follower church named Eddie Thone. I mean, Eddie Thone. <laughs> <laughs> who's marching in, in the anti-gay parade with Martin Luther King daughter and then the next thing we see on TMZ is him taking a selfie of himself in a tight muscle shirt, biker shorts, no underwear on, silk socks and Stacey Adams sending her to another man. <laughs> That's the difference. And he got 5,000 pounds. <laughs> Try to hear some of this before we close out. Y'all want to get at it, y'all. But hey, y'all, sometimes we got to do that. We got to ask some questions.